to talk about my very first CrossFit Games. I've joined CrossFit just under a year ago. I've always watched it on TV, but never been a part of it. Never had an idea that it was open to the public until now. Uh, last week was workout 24.1. I go to CrossFit LPF in uh, Coconut Creek, Florida. Shout out CrossFit LPF, Ida and Pete. The, first of all, the camaraderie is, is, is unbelievable. That, that gets me going every single day. Uh, I go at 4 p.m. Uh, every single weekday, most weekdays, and usually it's the same crowd. So, you know, gotten close to that group and um, even the 5 p.m. group and some of the weekend people. But um, aside from that, the CrossFit Games is a great way to understand how you have improved from year to year. Uh, given that I've, I've never done it before, I, uh, I, I can't really see my improvement comparing, you know, games to games, but I definitely know that I've improved just from, just from showing up every single day for almost a year. The last year was workout 24.1. And uh, the workout was, uh, I did the RX version, uh, probably shouldn't have, but I, I did the RX version, which was a, uh, for males, was a 50 pound dumbbell, uh, 21 snatches on one side, and 21 um, burpee jump over the, the dumbbell um, burpees. And then 21 snatches on the opposite side, and then again, 21 um, barbell, jump over burpees and then same format 15 15 15 15 9 9 9 9 15 minute time cap and i got to the i got to like my first rep of nine <laughs> jesus christ i was i was hurting my heart rate was i didn't see my heart rate get to the 180s in a long time and i didn't even use my my chest strap for that i don't think i could have done any better maybe a few more reps so i'm really happy about that i definitely learned that I could I could put in a, a, a bit more effort in my normal workouts. Um, when there's an event like that, I definitely try my best uh, because I don't want to let myself down or anyone else watching. Um, but no, it was good. I mean, my back was pretty sore for like two days. So that that's what was kind of, I probably shouldn't have picked that weight, but um, it was the first time I ever did jumping burpees because I usually don't jump over the bar. Um, I kind of choose my battles there because I don't want to get hurt or, or fall or whatever. So, but I did, I did, you know, go legit and uh, jump over the bar. I should have gotten one or two no reps because I did hit the, the, the dumbbell, but uh, it's all good. But this week, today is Friday and uh, it is workout 24.2. I'm really excited for this one because it's, it's, I'm pretty, I think I'm pretty decent at, at each of the three workouts. So the workout is a 300 meter row, 10 uh, deadlifts, single or double unders. So the RX version, which I can't do, I can't do double unders yet, uh, would be 185 pounds for male on the deadlifts. So I'll have to do performance. I was briefly looking at the CrossFit Games app and saw like, I wanted to see who has the highest score. And I saw a guy in the 900s. So the way they're, they're scoring 24.2, is every 10 meters of the row is a point so in a 300 meter row you could get you could get 30 points um if you end on the row let's say 277 uh meters that would be 27 points rounding down um each deadlift is a point so you could get 10 points there and the jump rope each each jump rope is a point in one round you could get a total of 90 points when, when you when you add everything together. So I saw a guy in the 900s, to get 10 rounds, right? You'd have to do each round in two minutes. I really, really want to try and get at least eight rounds in. I would love to fucking get 10, but that would mean, that would mean two minute rounds and I don't think that's possible. I saw some of the guys that did performance and and hit nine rounds those, those are like the top in the world so I, I don't think i'm a top of the world athlete but um definitely would love to to try and go hard i'm definitely going to edit the shit out of this i'll do another video next week for for workout 24.3 that one is probably going to have a ton of gymnastics in it i mean there's got to be pull-ups involved uh this is my first crossfit games thing so i I don't know if it's always three workouts on three different weekends or not, but anyway, 
Um, my favorite part about it is everyone does it and everyone cheers each other on. That's really cool. And we they CrossFit LPF does like a big party on Friday night. So um, I'm excited for that and the food. You know, it's it's really for everyone. I mean, there's there's all kinds of different formats that that fit everyone. I can't do double unders for the life of me yet, but uh, one day, one day, hopefully. All right, take care. Okay, I am on the way to CrossFit. 300 meter row, 10 deadlifts with 135 because I'm doing the uh, scaled version, and 50 single unders. I. Seatbelt. There we go. So I am actually shitting my pants to get 10 rounds in. I think I, I think my new goal is six. All right, Saturday, March 9th. It's the day after CrossFit Games 24.2. I got to the ninth round um, in the scale division. I definitely, I definitely tried my best. Probably could have could have gone a little stronger on the on the row. Um, I came out a little too hot on the first two or three rounds on the rower, and you can clearly see when I look at my heart rate. Uh, looking at that 20-minute workout, my heart rate spikes on the rower on each round. It's pretty interesting. And um, the deadlifts, the last few rounds were rough. I I did them all unbroken, but in the last few rounds I. Uh, on the eighth and ninth rep, I had to just like hold hold the bar at a standing position for like a, a few seconds, and then and then complete the uh, complete the set. Um, jump rope, I'm pretty pretty happy about that. I screwed up a few times, but uh, out of the eight rounds I did, I want to say six went smoothly. Two were a little, little bit sloppy towards the end, just because I was tired. Um, it was a good workout. It was really good high heart rate I didn't feel sick like I did in last week's workout which means next week's workout is probably gonna be disgusting I will definitely have to do scaled or even lower because uh, if it's some type of gymnastics which it probably is I I can't do any of that stuff 100% motivated to learn double unders now um, I think after each class I'm just gonna work on that for five to ten minutes and then hopefully I can get it in like a month or two. Everyone I ask about double unders, they they say it took them really long to learn. So I'm really, um, I hope it doesn't take me years, um, but I I will I will definitely work at it after after all of my workouts. So uh, I'm not too sore from from this workout. Maybe I'll be sore tomorrow. Another good thing is. Um, I'm very weak with bench press uh, because of, because of an old sh shoulder injury. I have I have issues pushing, but no issues like like uh, pushing above my head. It's it's like the put push-ups and and bench press position kind of just depends on the day. Um, and I just looked at my PRs for bench press, and last year I did 135 five times, which is no big deal for a lot of people. Um, but for me it kind of is because just because of how my shoulder hurts but today I did 170 10 times with no uh, with no pain so uh, all the band work that I that I've picked up from from CrossFit and from YouTube hundreds of YouTube videos has uh, has definitely paid off and uh, I, I'm, I'm, I'm staying injury free and building the strength and and the ligaments in my shoulder and knee IT band pain totally gone now so but it's weird because I I subconsciously get up funny like from couches or from the toilet and stuff like that or even like from from like uh, from the ground when I get up from uh, uh, a burpee um, I, I favor my right side because because I I'm thinking about my IT band pain but now the the pain is actually gone so um, good news all around I'm excited for the last CrossFit Open workout next Friday. Man, this guy almost just fucking hit someone. This is a very successful video, by the way. I'm driving to work. Um, and what else? And after the third CrossFit Open uh, workout, 
I'm going to New York for the uh, New York City Half Marathon. I'm going to go run that with Mauricio and, and Mike and Pratik and, and Dylan. So that'll be good. All right, so this is a good time to do a recap of what happened in the last three weeks for CrossFit. Do you have to go to the bathroom? No. All right. A couple days ago, uh, we had to do 24.3 workout, which was um, thrusters and pull-ups. Let me tell you, we just got here for the United Airlines Half Marathon, New York City, and I am regretting the thrusters. Mauricio dragged us here, and I feel better now, now that we're here. All right, final recap of the CrossFit Open, not the CrossFit Games, as I've been incorrectly saying this entire video. Um, I, was, I was editing the video, and was just cringing every time I said CrossFit Open. No, I did not make it to the CrossFit Open. Uh, it's a, sorry, no, I did not make it to the CrossFit Games. It's the CrossFit Open. Uh, but anyway, it was awesome. Uh, I had a great time. I will do it every year that I can and highly encourage everyone else to do the same. Didn't have any footage of 24.3, but uh, I, I scaled down significantly because of the pull-ups. I'd say the best thing about the Open is that it will motivate you to uh, do better for the following year. So, <clears throat> excuse me. So for me, uh, I definitely want to work on double unders and doing pull-ups, uh, eventually muscle-ups. God knows how long that'll take me. So, yeah. That's it. And I am regretting the thrusters.